This person, unfortunately, by the lockdown, he felt very lost. A person from Petach Tikva. Happens to be the city I was born in. And Petach Tikva, Israeli Jew, he felt very lost during COVID, and he felt that, you know, life is empty, and there has to be more meaning to life, and I want to get closer to the Kadosh Baruch Hu. He did not own a pair of tulon, this guy did not own a pair of tulon, and never really learned a day in his life. He did not know where to turn to, he couldn't turn to his parents or siblings. He decided he's going to pray to Hashem, daven to Hashem every single day, and he did it by the lockdowns. Daven to Hashem to show him the way how he can repent and get close to Hashem. So imagine this, it just happened. This guy is sitting in an apartment in Petach Tikva and locked in in COVID. He wants to become closer to Hashem, he just doesn't know how to do it. So what does he do? He prays for it. He tells Hashem, Hashem, I want to get close to you, please show me the path. Now listen to what happens. When the COVID restrictions started opening up a little bit, it was after Shavuot time in Israel. So some shuls started opening up. One of the shuls of Petach Tikva, the synagogues, they have a night seder program, which means they have a kolel of people learning with classes at night in their shul. And what happens is you have people from kolel coming, rabbis coming, and they learn with the working guys at night, Bechavuta one-on-one. So the shul that night started the night seder program. Everybody comes in, the rabbis come to learn, and the working guys, everyone is excited after COVID, you're a little free, you're able to learn in the shul. The gabai of the shul comes and he says, no, 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 I'm still scared of COVID. It's still dangerous. We're canceling tonight, the night sitter. No one is learning in the synagogue. It's still dangerous. No one is allowed to do it. They tell him, yeah, but everyone is here. We want to learn. He's like, no, it's sakana. I'm not taking responsibility. No one can learn in the shul. So everyone is waiting outside. One guy volunteers and he says, you know what? Everyone come to my apartment. I have a huge milpeset. I have a huge balcony. Let's everyone learn in my balcony tonight. Okay. Everyone starts following this guy to his apartment. One rabbi said, let me stay in front of the shul just in case somebody is going to come late to learn. I'm going to tell them it's closed over here, but we're all learning in this guy's apartment. Just in case another Jew wants to come learn, I'll be the guy directing traffic, telling him to go to this guy's apartment. So everybody went to the apartment. One rabbi stood in front of the shul. He waits five minutes, no one comes. Ten minutes, no one is coming. A half hour, no one is coming. He tells us, okay, that's it. I already waited a half hour. It's time for me to go teach Torah and go to the apartment. As he's walking out from the sidewalk next to the shul, he sees a guy jogging. A guy with long hair, with headphones on, he said. And the guy was taking his regular jog over there in Petach Tikva. He said, you know what, let me ask this guy if he wants to learn. He said he did not know why he asked him, but he asked him. He tells him, Achi, Achi, across the street, my brother, my brother. And then he runs across the street, and he tells him, by the way, we have a learning program. Do you think you want to learn Torah? It's right here down the block. Come learn Torah. Suddenly, this guy that was jogging, he said he started shaking because he was all uh, nirgash. I didn't say nirgash in English. He was all emotional. He started getting all emotional, this jogger. And the Rebbe tells him, what is going on? What did I tell you that you're getting all emotional? He's like, I got to sit down, I got to sit down. He sits by the sidewalk with this rabbi and tells him, you're not going to believe what just happened. For months, I'm praying to Hashem. Hashem, I want to start learning Torah, please help me out. And I don't know who to ask, I'm embarrassed to ask, I don't know who to turn to. But I know that I can pray to my Father in Shemaim, to my Father in Heaven, to please help me out. And now as I'm jogging down the street, you come across and you offer me to learn Torah? The rabbi told him, not only am I offering to learn Torah, I want to learn with you. I want to learn with you one-on-one. And the boy said, he started crying, started getting emotional. And the rabbi told him, by the way, can I ask you something? He says, yes, do you own a pair of tefillin? The boy again starts getting me more nervous, a pair of tefillin. For months I'm diving to Hashem, that I want a pair of tefillin. The rabbi tells him, well, listen, you found the right guy, because I have a gamach. Uh, I guess you call it like a chesed type of business of giving up pairs of tefillin in my trunk. I have a bunch of pairs of tefillin right now. They go to the rabbi's trunk. They take the pair of tefillin. That night, Rabbi this boy that was davening to Hashem in his apartment, Petach Tikva, he had no clue where it's going to come from, but he knew he can trust Hashem. He knew he can trust his father. And he says, Abba, I want to learn and I want a pair of tefillin. What does he get? Amazon Prime. That night, that he was jogging, he starts learning with a chavruta, and he gets a pair of tefillin. Now, but I, to me, that's a tremendous story. Because we can live through life, Baruch Hashem, keep Shabbat, and keep the holidays, keep kosher, pay our tuition for our children, do everything right 100%. But the relationship with the Kadosh Baruch Hu, with God, is not really there. They're actually trusting Hashem, and turning to Him and knowing that only He can help you. Can chas shalom be missing? And that is the nikudah, that is the point that Hashem wants. Hashem wants a person to be real with Him. 
Teshuvah means to be real. To be real, to really want to change. So even though a person, chas shalom sinned, if they're real about change to Hashem, that's already Teshuvah. Teshuvah is not complicating. Teshuvah is a mindset for a person for now on to change the direction of life and say, I'm going to be an honest Jew and I'm going to be sincere and all I want is to get close to Hashem. When that's a person's path in life to Hashem, that's already Teshuvah.